The agenda for the day will be as follows. We're going to start out with a quick overview of the online lending landscape, specifically focusing on facts and figures, the growth of the market, discussing how mobile and fintech is combining in order to drive the growth of this whole microfinancial market. Next, after that, we're going to be talking about how the solid customer journey looks like, what the balancing friction and security looks like, and how it's possible to remain competitive in this industry. Industry. What are the key factors that have to be kept in mind uh, when you're trying to establish your customer journey from day one? After this, we're going to be looking at how it's possible to leverage existing company data in order to, to make better decisions. Afterwards, we are going to have an interactive demo. So we will check out what data enrichment looks like in real time. You don't need to confirm your income. You don't need to bring references. This is not the classical underwriting process, but uh, but this is a much faster, a much smoother, a much more frictionless process. We do have a sort of a black area of all of this whenever uh, we're looking at fraudsters leveraging deep and sophisticated uh, methods in order to pretty much do some dishonest activities and take advantage and play the system. The Tor network, which provides a safe haven for fraudsters and on the dark web or dark net, they can host marketplaces which allow fraudsters to trade information and digital goods, such as stolen identity documents. This is a listing found on a, on a darknet marketplace, which is a guide that costs approximately six euros that will provide details in order to take advantage of lending originally. So what we're seeing here is somebody actually posted a guide. It says that it's going to guarantee a couple thousand uh, revenues weekly, which will teach you to exploit payday loan. Uh, the vendor says payday and installment loan companies are generally low security as they charge such high interest rates and want to process as many loans as possible. This makes them ideal targets for loan fraud and our guide will show you how to make easy money. So, uh, so the bottom line is finding the relevant balance between user experience and minimizing the risk. Of course, there is always a friction between these two factors, uh, but surely we believe that there is possibility of interest introducing a user journey, a customer journey, an authentication process that will in return satisfy the users and ensure maximum security. But also they can go to a website like this, which allows them to obtain a custom edited scan of a passport or driving driver license. If you go to this marketplace called Bidify, which is not even on the dark net, but it's on the clear net, then we can see that actually there are people, there are vendors who are selling pre-created digital bank accounts. It's really easy to download an application like this, which creates a so-called burner number. With this app, for example, they can receive even calls, any kind of verification. We have various data points about the user, right? The borrower, their ID, their name, uh, their email, address, their IP address, their device details, their phone number, and so on. And let's check out the process of underwriting based on these alternative data points. This is what I want to focus on. And this is pretty much where we have to take a look at these uh, data points one by one. 